Word up out there, Cypher Fred. This old midi man coming back at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. I call myself trying something new this time. I've been having so many, much trouble with my network and not being able to do Bible study on Tuesday night. I decided that this being early Thursday morning, I decided I would try to go on and do a little bit of feed, give everybody a little feedback on where I'm coming from right about now. We always searching out ways to get things done. Like I said, we want to give a shout out to all the cyber friends. You know who you are. And, uh, we don't, do not take it lightly. We appreciate each and every one of you. But tonight, I just want to say a few words here and I want to tell some things about what we can look forward to in these upcoming days and weeks and months. And I don't believe we have very, very many more years to see before I believe a lot of things as far as what Jesus had told us that were going to take place, we're going to begin to see a whole lot of that stuff start to take place very, very soon. Matter of fact, the things have already started, but it's going to escalate. It's going to be more, it's going to be more frequent. In other words, the birth pain Jesus called them. And, uh, I just, uh, I've been seeing the thing I've been, you know, we've been hearing about mudslides in Washington and got fires in the Midwest and, uh, earthquakes on the East Coast. You got airplanes going down in oceans and everything and wars upon conflicts every which way. You got Russia acting up. It looks like everybody tried to cut the food everywhere. All of this is just the thing that Jesus has said that would be taking place in these times that we're living in. People, I'm going to tell you something. For the masses, and we need to be about our Heavenly Father's business. When Jesus spoke on the Mount of Olives, and he told his disciples, he told them everything that what, what we're seeing right now. He told us that. He, he warned them. He said, take heed that nobody and no man deceive you. Meaning that in these days, there was going to be mass deception. Mass deception, you got to be very, very careful on whom you follow these days. You better make certain that if you follow anybody, they better be following Jesus Christ. You better make certain of that. So what we got to see here with Jesus, he told him to be of good cheer though, because he said now that the world, in this world, we would have trials and tribulations. Jesus told us that. So you can look for that. He said, but be of good cheer, for he had overcome the world. And because he overcame, we shall overcome. So we just got to stay in the race, people. We got to stay in the race. It's not, the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to them that stays in the race. So in other words, we need to gird up ourselves and put on the whole arm of God so that we might withstand the wild of the devil. In other words, the devil is busy because he knows his time is short. He's angry because he knows where he's going. And he's trying to get each and every one of, one of us to follow him in that lake of fire. People, we better get ready because the train is coming. And now I'm going to tell you, you better have your ticket. There used to be a song years ago by Reverend Morgan Babb said, If I have my ticket, Lord, can I ride? In other words, you can't have your ticket. Jesus has paid the purchase price for your ticket, but he can't make you take it. So in other words, what we need to do in these entire trying times that we're living in, we better make certain that we stay up under the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ because he is the only way to the Father. People, we better understand what's going on. We need to get in the Word, stay in the Word, stay on our knees in prayer because we're going to need all the strength we can get in these trying times that we are now living in. I think our brother P.P. drawing for posting his pastor's uh, sermons up about showing us and, and trying to get everybody to, to prime the record, to make, to understand that we, this is no play thing out here. There's no play pretty. God don't like us, and he don't like too much of our so-called pretty. So we better get our act together and come on and get on the good foot. And I mean get on the good foot. I really mean that because we got to walk this road to glory, people. Walk the road to glory. Jesus paid the debt. The sin debt is paid. He had fixed the table, but he cannot make us eat. Only thing we can do is just warn each other, warn the masses that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. 
So with that being said, this is Middle Man saying, I hopefully that I can have the Bible study tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully, I uh, was supposed to have my the uh, the technicians supposed to come out sometime today and uh, check these, this this network out and you know, check these lines, sweep these uh, fiber optics out. I, I hope they do something to them, cause my modem just keep going on and off, on and off. Every every five minutes it's going off. So that being said, Middle Man hopes to see everyone, uh, that the one that call in, the one that listen by the way of the way. We hope to see you on tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Blog Talk Radio. Walk through the word with the Middle Man. And remember, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God isn't in it, it's best that you come out of it because it's going to come to nothing. This is Middle Man saying peace and goodbye.